It's a combination of great food and great culture in Columbus's short north neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. There's really just a, it's a very dynamic neighborhood. It's got a great story of transformation and it really has a lot of the best food in Columbus. So Bethia Wolf acts as a tour guide for those looking for great food in unexpected corners of the city. Just hoping to see some of the hidden gems, I guess, the short north here in Columbus. It's called Columbus Food Adventures and several tours are offered. This one in the short north area covers five restaurants and the historic North Market, where the tour begins. And it moved into this building, which is an old warehouse in the mid 1990s. It's the perfect backdrop for vendors offering fresh fruits, vegetables, dairy, and even fresh cider, all produced locally. A different approach when you think about the city's knack for fast food chains. Columbus is known so much for chain food and you know the beginning of restaurant chains. So to have something more individualistic, I think it's really nice. The tour attracts Columbus visitors and locals. It's also a big attraction for foodies. If you're not a foodie, don't be scared to come and attend and try new foods. I'm excited to see different restaurants. And I think it's really cool to meet the owners and kind of get the backstory. I am definitely a foodie, yes. For Yvette Barnes, this tour was a birthday gift. A lot of the things that are on the list I've never been to, so it gives me an opportunity to try things out, and then if I like it, I can always come back. Gourmet sandwiches were on the taste test at this restaurant called Need. Uh, we're sort of like a modern diner, a sandwich saloon. Owner Rick Lopez says hosting the tours allows him to expand his business. We get a lot of great customers that way. They come back, they talk to us. We have built a nice uh, repeat base out of the, the walking tour. The tour is a reflection of all the Short North has to offer and gives visitors a chance to eat to their heart's content. In Columbus, Lisa Smith, The Ohio News Network.